Hello everyone, Dr. Cho is here. Today's formula is Du Ho Ji Seng Tang, one of the most popular formula in TCM. And this formula first recorded in Sun Shim Miao's book, so it has been more than 1500 years. What made this formula so special? Yeah, obviously, there's a legend this formula is Dragon King. So this it was the present from Dragon King in the sea to Sun Shi Miao, but that is just a legend. But this formula is very effective, so widely used until now from Su Tang Dynasty. As you can see here, this is the modern product you can buy. So joint vitality, so modern counterpart of the name of Du Ho Ji Seng Tang. Yeah, Du Ho Ji Seng Tang is not easy to pronounce. And Du Ho Ji Seng Tang composed of many different herbs. First part, releasing exterior and dampness. And second part, tonify in. And third part, tonify qi. This is one sentence summary of Du Ho Ji Seng Tang. Treat various beast syndrome. Yeah, please read this. Various type of beast syndrome. And strengthen sinew and the joint with Ji Seng and Du Chong. This is one part. This part, strong arms. That means tonifies Sang Ji Seng and Du Chong and Ni Xu. Sang Ji Seng is a special type of mistletoe which grows on mulberry tree. That is not that common, so it is expensive. Only the mistletoe grow in mulberry tree. And Du Chong and Ni Xu invigorate blood but at the same time tonify sinew and bones. These are the herbs which tonify joint gives vitality to the joint. So strengthen sinew and joint and expel wind with Du Ho, Qin Jiao, Gui Qi, Fang Feng, and Xi Xin, releasing exterior herbs. And Sang Qi Seng also has the effect of releasing wind and tonifies blood with Bai Xiao, Qian Xiong, Di Wang, Tang Gui. These are the ingredients of Si Tang. So Si Tang is here. And another part, Renzen, Fuling, Gancha. This is part of Si Junji Tang. So basically, Du Ho Ji Seng Tang tonifies blood and release wind, and also tonifies, strengthen bones and muscles. This is Du Ho Ji Seng Tang. When you understand pain syndrome, B syndrome, there's two major ideology. First one is the obstruction. This is Chinese, which says, if there is an obstruction, that makes the pain. Actually, this obstruction and the pain sounds the same. So when there is obstruction, this literally means smooth circulation. So with the smooth circulation, that induces pain. So what can obstruct the joint or the circulation? Qi and blood. First, if there is a stagnant qi or blood, there can be a pain. That, that is the reason we use Ni Xu or Qian Xu to invigorate blood. And that is the reason we use many regulating Qi herbs like Chen Pi or Xiang Fu and Damnus and Flame too, like Yi Yi Ren. And wind also obstruct the joint. And coldness is one of the main reasons of obstruction. So all these are the ideologies, cold, wind, damp, and phlegm, and qi, and blood stagnation. And this is one strategy for excessive condition. And there is another condition, and there is deficiency condition too. Which organs do you think is deep, deeply? Which organs do you think deeply related to this kind of painful obstruction syndrome? Joint pain. Kidney and liver because kidney governs bone and liver governs muscles. So kidney deficiency and liver deficiency, especially in deficiency. Kidney and liver easily lack of in, not the yang. So kidney and liver in deficiency so kidney and liver in deficiency is one of the most important ideology of joint pain. So two different ideology. This is the big picture. And this Du Ho Ji Seng Tang tonifies kidney and liver in with this Si Tang. 
Bai Shao, Dang Gui, and Sang Ji Seng also has the effect of tonifying kidney. So Sang Ji Seng, Bai Shao tonifies liver and kidney, and blood and in too. And Ren Zhen, Fulin, Gan Chao slightly tonifies Qi. So tonify Qi and blood. This is the deficiency side. Look at this side. Qin Chao, Du Huo, Gui Qi, Fang Feng, Xie Xin. These treat external wind. So wind and damp. So this Du Huo Ji Sheng Tang treat excessive condition and deficiency condition at the same time. So it is like a shotgun. It has a wide range of treatment options. So action of Duo Jiseng Tang dispel wind dampness and relieve pain and also nourish liver and kidney in and tonifies Qi too. But this is not the main target of this formula. Indication chronic beating, B syndrome by external wind and dampness, but not necessarily. But it can treat both external and deficiency condition, external excessiveness and internal deficiency condition. And soreness, pain in the lower back and knee, and numbness with difficult and limited range of motion. But you can use this for upper limb too. And aversion to cold, this is not necessarily. You don't have to consider these signs because this formula has many releasing exterior herbs. They are releasing exterior herbs for pain. So as you can see here, please look at this part, a fine and weak purse. There's no floating, superficial purse. So those Fang Feng like herbs, releasing exterior herbs, do not have to be interpreted. Patients should have external signs. As long as the pain is there and the pain is usually combined with wind and dampness. So there is a reason we used Fang Feng there. So just fine and weak or superficial can be. But Duo Ji Seng Tang is based on Si Wu Tang. And Tang, white. So not much of a sign of heat. But there is dryness and slightly yellow Tang can be found because it is based on indefiniency too. So therefore, one formula cannot be connected to one purse or one Tang signs. This is something I really do not like in modern TCM. And there are popular modifications for Duho Ji Seng Tang. If there's dampness, you can add Chan Chu, Fang Chi, Yi Yi Ren. Just like Si Miao San. If there's wind, Jin Chiao, and Fang Feng. If there's a cold, Chan Wu, Zhao. If there's pain, too much pain, Ru Xiang, Mu Yao. And kidney deficiency, Su Di Wang. Yes, it also has Su Di Huang inside. Actually, at that time, Su Tang Dynasty, Su Di Huang was not there. So this Di Huang can be Ra Di Yang or Su Di Yang. Either way is fine, but people just stick to ancient text. They interpret this as a just Sang Di Huang, but not necessarily. You can use Su Di Huang if the patient has a kidney deficiency, or if the patient has a heat signs, you can use Sang Di Huang. So it is based on context, like a Bao Wei Di Wang one, Shen Chi one. You cannot say that Di Wang inside of Shen Chi one is Sang Di Wang, because that time in Han Dynasty and Su Tang Dynasty, there was no differentiation Su Di Wang and Sang Di Wang. So this Di Wang can be anything. So not necessarily you don't have to use Su Di Wang into the Sang Di Wang. You can just substitute Sang Di Wang with Su Di Wang. If the patient have a heat signs, you can use Sang Di Wang, but in the case, patient tongue and purse must be different. This white coating will be yellow. Let's compare this formula with Zhuan Bi Tang. So with Zhuan Bi Tang, they have a similar category of herbs, like expelling wind and tonifying kidney and tonifying blood and tonifying qi and inviolate blood. So in Zhuan Bi Tang, you can find releasing exterior herbs like Qiang Guo and Fang Feng. In Duo Ji Seng Tang, in addition to Fang Feng, you can find Xi Xin and Gui Qi. But in Zhuan Bi Tang, there are no herbs for tonifying kidney. Only Duo Ji Seng Tang has herbs for tonifying kidney. 
and tonifying blood in John Bitang, Dangui, and Xiao Yao. Dangui and Xiao Yao. These are the common herbs between those two. In addition to Dangui and Xiao Yao, Tuoji Seng Tang include Di Wang and Chan Xiong, so Ho Si Wu Tang, and tonified Qi, Wang Qi, in Tuoji Seng Tang, Fu Ling, Ren Sen, Gan Zhao. And the herbs for inverting blood, Ni Shi, is there as a common herb, and Jiang Huang for Zhuan Bi Tang, and Chan Xiong for Tuoji Seng Tang. So similar, but Duoji Seng Tang has more herbs for tonifying kidney. So these are the six dimensions of pain treatment. This is general rule. When you want a warm channel, this is the one of the basic strategy for treating the pain syndrome. You can use Gui Ji, Fu Ji, Gan Zhang, and Wu Yao. And you can clear heat if there is inflammation signs and heat signs, Huang Bai and Huang Qin, Shi Gao and Jin Yin Wang. Invigorating blood is one of the major aspects of treatment of B syndrome. Chan Xiong, Ni Xu, Hong Hua, Yan Ho Su. And to regulate Qi, you can use Chan Pi, Ho Po, Mu Xiang, Mu Gua. To release exterior, release wind, Chiang Ho, Du Ho, Ma Huang, and Di Long. To tonify kidney and liver, Shang Ji Sang, Su Di Huang, Bo Gu Qi, Du Zhong. Those herbs are commonly used. This is very important knowledge when you treat the pain syndrome and based on pain location from upper to lower Qing Hao usually considered to treat the most upper part and Du Ho lower part and Nu Shi the lowest so it goes downward so Nu Shi is commonly used as an inducting herb to the downward and there are two different type of Nu Shi, Nu Shi and Chuan Nu Shi. Chuan Nu Shi Usually means Chuan. When you find the Chuan in front of the herbal name, herb name, that means from southern part of China. So most of the herbs in ancient China refer to around Beijing. So this is kind of new herbs from southern part of China. So they have a different property. And people say the regular Nishi has more function of tonifying kidney and liver, especially reproductive system. While Chen Yu Shu only has the function of invigorating blood. But this differentiation came to the TCM around 20th century, and there has been no verification about this differentiation. So I do not trust this kind of differentiation. And Li Shi Jin in Ming Dynasty says there's no difference between two different species of Nu Shi. In this case, Tou Shi, Tou Nu Shi. So actually, I cannot find any proper rationale for differentiation of Nishi and Chan Nishi. Okay, today we talked about Du Ho Ji Seng Tang. So one of the most important formula when you treat the pain syndrome. It has a very wide spectrum of indication from excessive condition to deficiency condition. Okay, I hope you like this lecture. See you later.